what we did is uh, kept getting the message and those who kind of don't have the book there are people who haven't got it many people outside the country within the country where i've not met them a few i have sent by courier when they called us so request came one and two several want to read out <coughs> what i've done vijay tapis i've done in addition to that part of this i put it into the powerpoint so that whether i'm going through they can see the powerpoint and they will be able to actual page will also be there so and it is also for reference for those who would like to this before we get on with the topic today i've been noticing that you know if god really exists why do we really suffer in which i continue to notice that this what sir was saying about the powerful consciousness wherever you start from wherever you end wherever you start, it is one alone exists one alone is so if that be so <coughs> if that one alone is created everything including itself so that very famous story dr alan watt god alone existed <laughs> and all by himself enough of samadhi enough of ananta nidra god got bored god wanted to play since god is all by himself who is he going to play with and god being very good is god so he kept thinking thinking and came up on a very good plan so what he did he is god he is consciousness and he created one not god <laughs> not conscious and since god being so good that not god became also very good and not god is just like god only thing what happened is god being so good not god is also very good and not god for god that is not god <laughs> that is actually god he forgot because god is very good is created not god so good the not god is now continue to believe i am not god but he is actually god but he is forgot the dr allen watts story ends up in saying who is this not god is it is you <laughs> you who have forgotten so that consciousness we have become if you look carefully we are unconscious of our consciousness we are not aware of it at all and then came the second thought of mind that it's the reflection in the meditation consciousness create the whole universe galaxy planets stars animals billions of people so powerful and i am that consciousness then i must be very powerful then i could do anything then why are we not doing anything when we are creating millions and billions and whatever happiness and joy and no problem with finance and relationship or sickness or disease or aging or we have all those problems then i realized that which in the western world they hit upon something called power of subconscious mind joseph murphy and those of you who read secret magic notes from universe another beautiful book note from universe what is the universe universe is that consciousness is that god is that nature is saying you forgotten who you are 
we know Aladdin's Wonderland. If you rub it, <laughs> you can ask for anything, and instantly it will produce. This nature universe is saying, "Hey, ask me. I'll give it to you just now. I'm just waiting. And if you look carefully, Mother's hand, God, Shiva, wherever you go, His hand is always up like this. This means what? The thas. Jal mangle par. What bardan do you want? I'll grant you. It's the same thing. If you look at it carefully, you started this thinking when you started up just now. That all we have to do is ask, believe in it, or don't ask. Think of it, or just make a wish. That will happen. The other day, you know, Asha brought a box of mango elephant. It just so happened that day morning. You know, they go Sunday morning to do a little shopping from Gulte. He said, "Sir, there are very good mangoes. Shall I buy some?" Now, I don't mind eating a walnut mango. I'm not crazy, but I quite like it. Like, but Sharada Mehta, they don't eat. So I thought of saying, "Okay, go ahead, buy. We'll all share together." <laughs> And then I said, "Nobody is going to eat it." They don't eat. Okay, forget it. I told him, forget it. Don't buy. You see, Asha brought one box back, and you will see it is happening in your life too many a time. You feel like I haven't heard from mother for a long time. My birthday is coming up. Is mummy remembering? Thought is coming, or my wife, or my sister. Suddenly, ring, ring, ring. Pick up the phone. I was just thinking of you. No, it happens to us so many times. So we are actually disconnected with our own connection, and we are wrongly connected to all the negative thing. So this power of thought, which the Western world is, you know, through notes from the universe. Through magic, through secret, and in our ancient shastra, they're talking about Krishna is telling Arjuna, "You don't know the power of your thinking, your thoughts. So if we can plant that seed, you know, when doing the meditation, I say when your mind is absolutely calm, peaceful, tranquil, plant the seed. What do you want? Let's say I want so and so." A uh, distant brother of mine is suffering a lot from some incurable disease. Please make him all right. I plant that seed. Just like we plant a seed on the garden, and we don't keep digging it up to see whether it is germinating or not, we should not germinate. We should not talk about or try to find out. Is it really going to happen? What if it doesn't happen? How is it going to happen? How can it be? You know, we keep thinking like that. Doubt it. Doubt who? Doubt my own thinking. That's the mistake we do. So the power of thinking is the good news is we can do anything with it. Bad news is we use it negatively. <laughs> we keep thinking, how can it be? Somebody says incurable disease. चल ठीक हो जाएगा यू नो ही मेनी पीपल बट यू आफ्टर यू लीव यूर डाउटिंग लास्ट थ्री इयर्स विच ए जस्ट थिंक सर लास्ट थ्री इयर्स टेन स्टैंडर्ड एंड ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड फाइव थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड स्कूल एज ऑफ नाउ इन द वर्ल्ड दैट्स अबाउट फाइव टू सिक्स लैक्स स्टूडेंट अपेयर फॉर टेन Five to six lakh appear for twelve. Can you believe the world number one is from our school? Six consecutive exam. Right now, exam is going on. Again, I'm telling you, they will produce the world now. And the top twenty, twenty-four, they are within the top one fifty in the world. I put it. This is the power of the Vedanta. 
Swami Vivekananda Babaji's Divine Mother's Blessing. I always put it this way that we just plant the seed and we leave it. Let it germinate. Supposing it doesn't, we are not disappointed. It's okay. We have planted it. Mother must be knowing best. What is correct? But it always comes up. So our journey to our devotee is that we can make our life filled with harmony, joy, and that feeling. You know, it is like, it is a feeling I came to close to understanding. I'm going to Mumbai. I'm on the expressway. I know I will reach Mumbai. Why? The right track. I get on a flight to go to Singapore. Do I think, what if I don't? What if the aircraft diverts? What if the aircraft meets with a crash? I don't think about all that. But here, while going to Mumbai, I see a big signboard. Tire burst cause injury to head. <laughs> you know, the moment I read it, I say, oh, I hope I don't get a tire burst. And if I get tire burst, then what will happen? I will change the tire. What if that one also gets a flat? Then I'm stuck. Can you imagine? See how I'm snowballing my own and what the power of thought is talking about. Don't. The moment it starts to, you snip it off. How do you snip it off? Replace it with a good thought. Shut up. How can it be? Babaji is protecting my car. Nothing can touch. No one can touch my life, my those who are dear devotee, family members, people around. Everybody will be okay. With this thought, when you start off understanding, let's say Mandakya Upanishad, the Omkar, or this particular topic, that all we have to do know for certain, just like a baby knows. Have you ever, you know, these thoughts kept coming to me. Baby. Baby is going down with mommy and daddy, let's say to a journey to the US. 10 months, 12 months old baby. Does the baby think I have to carry $20 in my pocket? <laughs> what if my milk doesn't come, <laughs> if mommy forgets about it? But we think, what if mother doesn't remember? What if mother doesn't sanction? Baby doesn't think, what if my mother doesn't give me milk? I must take care of myself. So what has happened? We align ourselves with this name, body, form. Me. I have to take care of myself. So we forget to surrender to the planting wish and surrender. It's going to happen. There's a beautiful story of bamboo tree, golden bamboo tree. There's a fern bush and a bamboo tree. Both the seeds were planted by the farmer. The fern, ferns, these wild ferns in the jungle, those of you, been to big jungle? No? Okay, in the big jungle, the ferns, generally you'll find in the normal ferns grow about this big. Big jungle, it goes to six, seven feet. No. Solid leaves. We went to uh, Ibni, there, Kurk, there you have this huge fern. He had planted it. Within three days, fern bush seed sprouted. Nothing happened to the bamboo seed. Now, normally, people like who are doubtful, they will dig up to say, Did I really plant it? Or did I forget about it? But the farmer, he knows. He has no doubt. He doesn't dig it up. He keeps on manuring, watering, make sure soil is loose. One full year goes. Fern bush is grown to six feet tall. Bamboo seed is not proud. And as the Vedantic tale goes, second year, nothing happened. Two full years have gone by, no sprouting of the bamboo. People like you and me will forget about it. What is the simile? Simile is when I plant a seed, a thought, and it doesn't happen in two years' time, I think it's not going to happen. Third year, nothing happened. Fourth year, nothing happened. Fifth year, the bamboo seed sprouts. And 
is the golden bamboo tree. It grows to 120 feet tall in just three months time. That shooting ahead is like our planting of a wish, a thought, knowing it's going to happen. How exactly, when exactly, I don't know, but I can always say, I can always ask, come on mother, Babaji. With this, if we spread the word around, that know that you have the power and you are that God and not God, how can it be that you can't? Now, if you look carefully, the, I was listening to yesterday, you, you all have heard about Westinghouse, Westinghouse refrigerator, America's best refrigeration system. And it's actually a big industrial company. George Westinghouse in the 17th, 18th century American Revolution. He was from that guy, young guy, 14, 15 years old, going on to 18. Very studious, believed in his own and working, 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 created a great industry. Westinghouse refrigerator is known for its sturdiness. I had bought, knowing that, you know, when I was abroad, I bought one. I brought it with me to India. I had used it for 31 or 32 years. The thing, you know, the body, because of the use, it started to melt. Melt many in the rust and falling off, actually crumbling and falling off. Compressively, <laughs> it's still cooling. The door couldn't close fully. Door is to be opened this much. But inside is cooling. This thing, what compressor must be, work has to be done. It is not sealed. It is slightly open. It still continued. Eventually, <laughs> I gave it up to one of the, you know, it was because it wasn't looking very nice. It was all rusting, decoloration, and we bought an Indian refrigerator. I bought an LG. I'll show it to you. Here it's a six door one, 1001 liter, the largest refrigerator. I bought it 2015. Two years back, on with this refrigerator started creating a lot of trouble. Last about four months, it's not running. LG, company took it to their company kept for 15 20 days said now it is okay send it back two days again it stopped working imagine i was just thinking lg company who the manufacturer of it all he had to do remove everything and put new stuff i said i'll pay whatever it is because it, it has got 10 years uh, compressor warranty but the body warranty and all are not there I said, it's okay, you repair it, instead of me buying a new one. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with the body, I'll show it to you. Vijay, its body is beautiful. You can't make out it is not new. Its body is so good, but compressor, not working. Now, day before yesterday, I did the same thing, planted the seed to the universe. <laughs> I said, look, I like this refrigerator, it's very nice. Why do you want me to buy another one? Why can't you repair this? And I'm leaving it to you. I don't let it be, I forgot about it. LG people rang me up yesterday evening. Sir, what did you come to your house? Repair it? I said, no, 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 nobody has come. These guys didn't tell me. Something happened. I said, let me go and see how bad. They had said, keep running. Even if it is not cooling, keep running. I went and opened the refrigerator. I was shocked. It's beautiful. It's brand new. I said, how did it happen? Then I asked them. They said, yes, sir. These guys came in the morning and repaired. It got repaired. And now our intention is, it should continue to run for another five, 10 years. So, 
my intention of sharing with this and if god really exists why do we suffer is that they are linked actually they linked and the whole thing started up from tapil sir saying it is all conscious in the beginning and whether you go from the vedanta side or the other way, vedanta is what vedanta is basically it says uh, nimritti vedanta means veda anta in the in the verbatim sanskrit language we say end of all knowledge veda is knowledge anta is end end of all knowledge the philosophers great old white philosophers there one indian philosopher he uh, is a bengali gentleman he is teaching in oxford in uk and he said you know uh, rajesh was talking that book on the quantum theory and i was uh, i have been doing little little study on that just for curiosity and knowledge so there's one famous uh, specialist nuclear physicist he said if you are not shocked by quantum you have not understood quantum theory <laughs> and this gentleman bengali teaching in oxford without the he said if you are not shocked by vedanta you have an understood vedanta you know <laughs> so this the other meaning they say the vedanta meaning it is the cutting edge of a knife sharp knife sharp knowledge it cuts through all ignorance whatever doubts you have it will cut through. there is another meaning i have found it called nimritti nimritti meaning it takes you without any doubt the beautiful understanding simply understand when we started off vedanta we got the message that in our school that's how first it started off we are supposed to vivekananda said you are supposed to teach the western side with vedanta western side i be the best we took it on Now with Vedanta, I don't know anything about Vedanta. Is I'm talking about 40, 42 years ago, and seriously took it up 24, 25 years ago in our church. I said, let me start, and with the prayers to Mother, I started off. And today I find really it is so simple to understand. But you know those thick books, and some people have made Vedanta so kind of difficult by their explanations. because they have what they have done given a verbatim from the upanishad actually one has to understand it and make it simple like a children should be able to understand and when you look at in the entirety of the vedanta and the upanishad you suddenly find answer to this question comes up and that's how you know when champi uh, toton died Sapnadeep, he in his last COVID night, and his mother is a very very uh, dear lady, very learned. She is an examiner for All India uh, for uh, ICSC. Her heart was totally broken, and she didn't feel like doing anything. And that the time I got the message: Why don't you start understanding this? Why does it happen? and that's how this whole journey started out so let's take it on from there we will start with the if you if you see we will start with the picture and the presentation and the prayer to the mother we'll start off with that so the prayer to the mother oh divine mother bless us that we tell in intense longing and love for you we really craving comes from it vakulata in sanskrit may we be blessed with shraddha respect for you bless us that we attain intense desire for you and this passion for the world vakulata for spiritual and this passion for the world let the world thing be there i'm not saying i don't want it i'm a monk i'm running out 
we are saying let it be there but it's like being like a lotus in the water water doesn't touch the lotus leaf or the lotus petal that we develop viveka discrimination of the right from wrong like vivekananda and choose what is right may we receive your blessings for varav detachment and yet do our work we are working intensely but detached just like karma nibadina mahale sukadachana your famous help the people of this samsara and of this world and may we be blessed to witness oneness amongst all dualities of separatedness and destroy our lethargy and lies so that lies don't influence us any more by wagging its tail and making us still lie and lethargy waking up at 3:30 morning is a half an hour more <laughs> that half an hour more should not happen any make it disappear from our life the lethargy is and life and grant us your darshan instant to end all suffering o divine mother bless us with the gift of knowledge that you be always in our heart and in our consciousness in every moment of our life in every breath that we take may we always be may you always be with us and shower us with chaitanya consciousness may we attain that brahma gyan and ananda in this life alone in this life alone not again and again birth and death and birth and death take us from death to mortality So the question comes in the heart today. How did you find when you read it? What is your overall understanding? I really like it. Huh? I really like it. I like it. How do, how are you finding it? Meaning the entire content. How does it flow? Flows perfectly. Perfectly. And is it is it answering the question that we were wanting to? For me, uh, I thought that. Uh, It's sort of inquisitiveness, huh? sort of inquisitiveness. Inquisitiveness it does create. It is especially first ten pages. I loved it because when you see that these are the you know dogmas and beliefs and what are the you uh, have to find out what are the shortcomings in that. Like you may tell me something mm. that this is correct, mm. but other person may find no, this is not correct. This is a fault in it. So that's what what you have done in initial ten pages. Mm. That whatever you say, like I say, Vedanta is good, but you have to find out the people those who find shortcomings of Vedanta. Mm. Then only you will understand Vedanta. It is not like that. I am telling this is correct. Mm. People those who are finding it, it is not correct. Why they are finding it, it is not correct. Why? Why they are finding it, it is not correct. Mm. Understanding their point of view is more important. Mm. Not my point of view, mm. because they, these are the people those who are give me a more insight into it, so that I will take their point of view and find out Vedanta that what is how I can solve his query. Mm. My query is solved, mm. but the people those who are not finding it good, or they are finding some shortcomings in that, that is very essential. So here, what? Uh, how do you find the answer? How did you find it? I think I will go from the for the simply learn what you can do. I just mentioned that hmm? to go from this side yeah. to the other. Yeah. To come from the original side that is the consciousness. And how we understand? So hmm. that is of course our case. Mm. Only thing in the beginning you have to understand why mm -hmm. the troubles are being there. I think once we understand this, see from both sides, mm. then we understand because after all there are some 
tools in this whole presentation is not happening without any tools hmm and the tools definitely they have been framed not only consciousness alone but the part which are like atma hmm atma yeah so maybe they they all of them have tried together found the roots this is the way we are going to play with them hmm and then each one has taken his own part hmm taken his own part hmm now so as far as <coughs> this uh, sati is concerned everything was very good proper detailed form and then you know when to this data and then when you come to proper and for you hmm constant but there is a great fault in there mm. so where i was playing my role mm-hmm. i was not getting attached mm-hmm. but once i play my role and get attached to that then be the role what uh, yeah, this is uh, what i have been guided to do is not mine <laughs> it is not i am saying it it is the shankaracharya's karika or how he has explained it that is 1400 years ago and then subsequently vivekananda about 150 years ago and currently there are some very enlightened masters in the vedanta the world why how they are deciphering the same karika of shankaracharya they are not saying their own either they are also explaining what vivekananda said his explanation how do they think or paramahamsa ram krishna or jesus christ or let's say uh, guru nanak ji how do they say in ekumkar how like that so i have picked up those and collected them like a garland towards the answering of the answer answer question is in the center garland is around <laughs> it's like that they did they series of answers which got from various including latest western books and all that what are they say about that and put them together like i referred to even thompson uh houston smith net block their latest current right now they are supposed to be top philosophers and all that what are they saying western way meaning it may not tally and in fact most often it doesn't except david chamath is telling uh, to what the vedanta said uh, even thompson is telling but others are not telling so i've collected all meaning as you said some people are saying that they, we should know about that also why shouldn't i if we don't have to write only what is suiting our way of thinking so i put a garland of all those around that question why are we suffering First ten pages, in case you read it again, what you have written. Ah. Uh. First ten pages. Ah. Uh. That first ten pages of the book. Yeah. What you have written, in case you read it again, you have only question that okay, this is said, but question comes to your mind. No, this is not like that. This is beautiful in that, but it's in the putting question in that same way in the mid portion where you try to explain what is consciousness and all. Mm. Certain people may have doubt about, it. you know, that also. Mm-hmm. We must know. It, in this case, we were talking about Yogesh. This book. Yes, so, what they need to do is give the question, shoot the question, and then we will deal with that question's angle also. That what is the question? What is the doubt? so why is it we don't understand or why is it i have a wrong understanding either way don't understand or wrong understanding it just lack of knowledge how do we remove the ignorance or darkness by bringing light so the light of wisdom light of knowledge as per who not individual it is by what the masters have discovered ancient rishi and talk about that this is how we kind of collated the whole issues together so what we are doing is we are reading it out this book and intention is to create like like a powerpoint audio book this book is also there in the powerpoint and now 
anybody who like they can also go through it those some of the people who don't have the book they're far off maybe in canada somebody said i did send some to other countries but this is courier is very expensive one this book cost 3000 rupees to iceland <laughs> i it is cost me 375 rupees or something for per book you know because i printed limited number uh, if you print a lot of them then it may come to around 200 rupees or something soft copy is the best huh soft copy is the best hmm soft copy yeah is the best soft copy i can send it to them yeah yeah so billions of soft copy today in google available <laughs> people don't read but if they have a you know if they have the book in their hand the feeling of it or going out to sleep with it on their chairs and then again waking up and reading one or two line it's different uh today if you look at google google it got everything you just ask any question and you got 10 million beautiful answers so but i would send a soft copy i have not as yet sent it to anyone because some publishers are telling me we want to publish i had made some other book we want to publish it if i make the soft copy out then they might say you made it public already they may not be interested for you know their marketing and sales issues and all that i'm not really worried because i'm not these things got written down not because of publishing it's just because i want to share these issues which is bugging other people and this whole thing started off Yogesh, because our dearest friend Dotun Sapnadeep, who left his body during the COVID-19, and his <coughs> mother and everybody else, his sister, brother, wife, totally shattered. Like anybody, very close, loving, and being a devotee, so it irked me. Why don't I take it up? So we will continue from there. Now. the question came about continuing there that our divine mother the mother of the universe looking so blissful they are exactly so caring and yet why do we suffer then mother is there mother is there caring always is a hand why are we suffering then baba ji is there we have no doubt he is there and yet we are suffering why are we suffering and this is the doubt this is the question which needs to be addressed to and basically understand the truth what is the truth now if you look carefully compare it with a human parent we are children of god children of divine mother and look at a human parent human parent he will not ever allow their children to suffer whatever it is a human mother human father will always do whatever they can to remove the suffering you know but human parent can't why because they don't have the power power to heal power to uh, remove that suffering where they can they will if it giving some money or buying an iphone 12 they will but most often than not the human parent don't have the power so even the parent is all loving caring because it doesn't have the power cannot remove the suffering so human parent would with the limited resources whatever they can they are going to do it but now still the child is not happy why because it is not meeting up with the suffering and we as the human we are disconnected so we don't have the power But the, let's say some ancient rishis or somebody like that, they have the power. So like Sri Ram, you know, living with the masters of Himalaya. Have you read this book? He, his guru, a Bengali saint. His name was Bengali Baba. Very famous. He lived for three hundred fifty plus years. Bengali Baba 
he used to go around once a year by the bridge all india is to walk so in one of his walking down he was passing through this bengal tarakeshwar area and late evening he found a little hut he went he said do you have something to eat so the one old lady 70 year old father 78 years old father meaning husband and wife no children they took care bengali baba was very pleased and they had one cow and a little plot of land in which they used to plant something to take care of their daily need no other earning bengali baba was very pleased especially uh, they had made for themselves four chapatis two plus two and bengali baba ate up half of it <laughs> and this lady they had a cow she had a little lota of milk simple indian cow in bengal not very great she gave them milk also to him he was very pleased at this selfless uh, loving caring so the morning before leaving he would never stay more than one night in one place he asks chal mang le kya chahiye they he had the power so mother said baba we are very simple we don't need anything but i don't have a son i want a son 70 year old lady 78 year old father bengali baba said nahi ho sakta she had naturally tears in her eye baba please insisting baba said nahi bola <laughs> okay baba she laid down sashta pranam and holding his feet lying down the baba with his foot he said his heart melted he said chal ho jayega but ek shart he is not going to live more than 6 years unless you give him to me at 6 years of age if you give him to me he will live with me the mother that time is very happy are i am going to get a baby <laughs> mother said okay agree exactly 9 months later mother gave birth to the baby this sri ram born sri ram masti playing around read the book it's fantastic reading <laughs> when it is 6 years few months to go baba landed up yaad hai you have to hand him over now poor mother young so old and at that age she been playing with that four five three four five years old for the so many four five years totally attached emotionally howly you can't do that how could you be so cruel he said see i can leave him and go but he'll not live you want him to live do you better give him to me mother eventually father and mother agree because there's no choice and bengali baba took him in himalayas but he has reached himalaya now 6 years is not complete and bengali baba told him you are free to roam around but be careful and this champion he was sira me saying i was looking out like that through the deep fall in the mountain looking out like that and something happened he fell and falling 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 and he shouted baba a tree you know have you seen from the mountain trees come out like this the one such tree got tree down <coughs> those trees are generally one or two thick branch only this one very strong but only one little branch with few branches it broke and that branch pierced tree down through the stump hold it <laughs> like you do grilled chicken like that <laughs> bleeding away he's screaming hurt 6 year old 
he suddenly found bengali baba standing in front of him in the air this chilla mat theek ho jayega little later some of his disciples came with a rope came down from there picked him up broke the branch took him up he lived till 82 years of age he did his masters from harvard and he went ahead to start to establish this himalayan institute of i think it is medicine and veda something like that it's a, it's a big name rishikesh america europe three branches and became very famous shira and he looked very tall fair long hair if you see his picture he also became very tall his training to bengali baba was so intense yeah shri ram grew up to be very uh, mischievous boy he used to go trouble everybody as per his own writing <laughs> he say he insisted so bengali baba told one of his devotee what wanted a transistor radio give him one so those day big transistor radio like that morphy richard i remember still i also had one <laughs> and those days vivid varti so sri ram wanted to hear vivid varti and other monks and all are doing meditation and he would intentionally go and play it loudly disturbing everybody so they all went and complained to bengali baba bengali baba fired him he would do something or the other he brushing his you know those neem kadata brushing his teeth and he told one of the uh, who seasoned with bengali baba very senior and because he bengali baba's son so called son is a thoda pani la de telling that guy get me the water <laughs> that guy felt very insulted he didn't say anything they are all yogi but he felt very insulted so he brought the water and he left it there and he just said keep brushing only two word keep brushing and bengali uh, uh, sri ram is writing all the beautiful story i have it here <laughs> you know evening morning keep brushing evening bengali baba came and said what happened he still brushing <laughs> all mouth gum everything is swollen up then bengali baba said you don't know who he is you are asking him to give you water why can't you go down and get it he had to go down some 30 40 step and there was a nalka there he must have seen in rudra prayag deva prayag they have you know place those nalkas are there one day sri ram by now is about 20 years of age he's done a lot of study and he's learning from bengali baba he's taking a class on vedanta and as he taking a class he finds one of these monk who is sitting at the back and he's doing something like this the sri ram yam he wants to go and punish why am to paying attention <laughs> so he goes there and he sees he's got lot of ants lot of ants you know ants roaming around and he's breaking them into half putting one half this side one half that side sri ram <laughs> he gets very angry he said what are you doing you killing this ant so that guy calmly looks up at him nahi maru tick so he picks up the right half and picks up the left half puts them together and walks off <laughs> he started putting one like this they start to walk off when it become alive again shiram said where did you learn this from it is there are guru say <laughs> Meaning, Bengali Baba has taught him that. 
this sanjivani special yoga he goes storming to bengali baba you're teaching everybody everything you didn't teach me this <laughs> he is writing his life story like this he was in us taking sessions classes talk he set up the uh, university and understanding himalayan drugs and yoga he had given a talk in california he was flying down to san francisco and with him those days you know these uh, mic and things like that were not very easily available so he had one gentleman who had got a sure mic and a sure a very powerful with which he used to talk after going to san francisco from california uh, when they setting up the room and all that sri ram just going down to see is everything all right sali this said sir gurudev i made a mistake he what happened he said i left the sure mic in my room is it all sri ram close the eyes it said where did you leave it this is in my room in the first floor is it where is it lying is it in front of the television so she ran from the back brings his hand he says this one this imagine he had by then gained this power and he instantly got that point exactly the same mic from there to and this man he say i'm odd to me meaning he became very powerful so called uh, in understanding this vedanta and things of that uh, this these things most people will not understand it because they cannot visualize it they cannot you know actually experience it but but that there is a tremendous connection between this consciousness which is you know when we do pranam in himalaya tapliyal sir is himalaya <laughs> whenever i look at him he is grown up in that uttarakhand uttarakhand correct when they meet each other especially monks and other those learned people you know what they say i don't know sir must be knowing they they say they ask drishti saaf hai <laughs> have you heard this drishti saaf hai matlab what are you seeing drishti saaf hai meaning you see through this material world and you see something else <laughs> so continuing with this most importantly the heart breaking cry of a poor loving mother 40 year old man really broke it up or a 9 year old young boy died covid 19 so much of suffering if mother is really there baba ji is really there why are we suffering good people pious life very well meaning always helping people tremendous suffering sickness disease remind me of paramahamsa ramakrishna suffering from throat cancer and this incident happened with turiya maharaj 3 days before he left his body hari maharaj turiya maharaj comes down this happened in kashi pukur garden where he was he was taken to stay in that one of the zamindar who was his disciple said you go and live there empty nobody used to stay there i been to that place. beautiful garden huge he comes down to meet uh, paramahamsa ramakrishna and he says thakur how are you feeling today thakur said throat is paining can't eat anything throat cancer no supposed to be most painful cancer hari maharaj instead of saying 
keeping quiet or something he said but you were looking you were in bliss and imagine two three days to go he he knew that he is going to leave his body instead of getting angry varavasha rao krishna said the rascal has caught me <laughs> meaning that suffering is the body is suffering shivanand bar he was the one of the president of uh, ramkrishna mission <laughs> he suffered a lot again with his body to with the end part of his life so one of the disciples says sir you had a very tough time last night how are you feeling today he said me i'm okay i'm okay he said, but you had a very tough time last night no he said oh this body yes yeah, this body is not good at all not good at all i am okay <laughs> this understanding the clarity that look i am not this body i am not this pain so this is what our vedanta practice meditation helps us a lot to orientate it all the time people would ask is this suffering because of my past karma and generally that seems to be a pretty good answer is it something that i had done it in my past life i am ignorant about and because of which i am suffering today and there is this one professor he goes ahead and answers and he finds 23 answers 23 answers and if you look at them he gives all kind of answers and you start to look at them <laughs> eventually you realize none of them are really for an intellectual like you and me is really challenging it doesn't gel he goes ahead and gives answers like paramakshara ramakrishna was asked by one stubborn devotee why do we suffer the paramakshara ramakrishna asks it this is god's leela maya this devotee who is very insistent and stubborn he said we are dying and god is playing with us what kind of a leela what kind of a god is this the paramakshara ramakrishna tells him you saying you are suffering and who are you do you know who you are so this is where we are slowly edging towards the right answer now here he says question comes in we are all powerful divine mother all loving caring powerful lady and she is still deliberately manifesting a maya which will create trouble for us what kind of a god is this so is it because is it is creating maya so as to make us suffer is the question which will come in which you will say why is this created is it because god is aware of the fact that all these little creatures these human being they were created by me and eventually is going to die and come back into me so let them suffer this is this is one answer is coming out let them suffer it doesn't matter they're going to die anyway <laughs> another one is god is powerful but not caring it doesn't matter and this is how if you see those noah's ark there god was like that god got very disturbed why because human being were not doing the right thing they were doing all wrong thing so righteousness went missing from them so the they so what did he decide he'll bring in a flood and wipe off the whole human being animal plants everything and he had a righteous person good person noah and he gave him an ark and he said you take 
do, 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 do like that. And the ark was given. Similar story there in Babylonian story. And there it says God was fed up. Why? Because the human beings were making too much of noise. And noise disturbed his sleep. <laughs> so he said these guys are making too much of noise. So let's wipe them off. I want to sleep. Like these kind of stories were there from earlier. In these, the surmises all the time is God is very powerful, but God is not loving, not caring. And then came the doubt, if God is not loving, not caring, and he's powerful, he's an autocrat sitting up there and passing judgment, who is going to worship such a God? Nobody will worship. So then came the, the concept, God is loving, God is just, God will not do anything wrong, and God is caring. So this idea evolved. Now, if you look carefully, actually God is not evolving. It is our concept of God kept evolving through as the mankind kept. Our idea of what God should be, God is. When we are suffering, we are saying God is unjust, God is powerful. Our concept of God kept changing. And then came eventually the good God action. Good God, powerful, loving, caring, whatever you want. And always silent. Then came among the answers. God is just and all-powerful. Then it goes on. If God is disturbed in the mess, it's saying, it is, why are we suffering? Because to teach us a lesson. And we should evolve after that lesson. You know, you get a punishment. So you should say, I should not do that. Like Adam and Eve, Eve if the apple told Adam to eat, like that. Here he goes on to say that, but the doubtful, intelligent, vigesser like people will say, hey, listen, <laughs> what kind of a character change will a butterfly do? Or a baby? Why is the baby suffering? Baby doesn't, baby is not going to change its character. Baby doesn't even understand why it is suffering. Or let's say a tiger jumps on a deer, eating up the deer. How much of suffering is the deer doing? Why should that suffering be there? You can see the pain in a, let's say, a little insect, which the wall lizard has caught it and eating it. So how do you justify that by suffering? Then came, because God is all powerful and God can make us suffer, that is how God started to make us suffer. You cannot say that God drowned people because they were too noisy. Questions came about like this. And the whole evolution took place. God is not evolving. Our concept of God kept on evolving. And why are we suffering when God is all loving and caring? The answer is necessary and it should not shake our faith of God. So, I talked to you about 23 answers. He says, you know, the, along with the evolution of the concept of God came the evolution of concept of evil. God and evil. Demon and Holy name. And all these answers are there in the Karika. And that is how it, it is building on it. There is a Professor Arthur Harman. He is written on this book. In the book's name is Problem of Evil in Indian Thoughts. And in this survey of the question, he's answering in different religion, philosophy, literature around the world. 
out of those 23 answers, he's talked about the baby and talking about God is testing us. There's another answer. God is testing. See how much can we tolerate. So what kind of a test it is? Either for a baby or for that animal. And look at the animal kingdom. What do they have? What consciousness? What children? Yes, they have consciousness. But what? They are not evolving like that. How would we get around the question, then why are we suffering? Going on. How is it bending anybody's character when there is a holocaust, when there is a tsunami, where is a tornado, Katrina, entire New Orleans got wiped off. How are we? How is it happening like that? So you understand all these questions, millions of people are killed, things like that. How are you justifying? If you look carefully, the question is really very deep. And when you, the more deeper you get into the, with the problem, the more you understand that we need to understand the doubt of this. He says, God has given us one of the answers, Professor Arthur Harman, out of the 23 answers. He's saying, God has given us free will. If you do good, good, you will enjoy good, good. If you do bad, bad, you're going to enjoy it. Question comes up, you will say, why should you give a loaded gun to the baby? He, he, he doesn't let the baby do with anything. How can you leave? You have given these human beings a great something. What are you going to do now? And came comes out with another, one of the best. Prophet Arthur Harman is giving out with the answer is karma theory or karma. And that seemed to be, as per him, the best theory. Again, it falls off flat. Okay, human beings can say karma. What karma does the plant or the animal? Or that little <laughs> almost doesn't understand anything. What is that karma? Swami Vivekananda says, you can only do conscious karma. When you come to a human birth, and this cause and effect can actually explain suffering and experiences in animal life, any kind of conscious life would be able to. This is how explanation is going on. Understanding. Advaita goes ahead, Shankaracharya, Karika, is saying, Jagat Mithya Brahma Satya. You are true. You are powerful. But this understanding is for most of us, it's very, very difficult to go ahead and say, is that all right? If it is so, if it is so powerful, why is it that I am not aware of my powers? If I am aware of my power, and like that, the whole text of the book is gone on to eventually to understand where is the power, what do we do, how do we get through to it. What we'll do, we'll take on with the two statements and then start off with our exercise and meditation. Okay? See, one statement is, Shankaracharya says, Brahma Satyam Jagat Mitya. Meaning, this world is actually not real. Just like in your dream. So you are also actually in dream. And
परमश रामकृष्ण विवेकानंद दे से जगत ब्रह्म सत्य इसे जगत ऑल्सो सत्य ही एक्चुअली कट्स शंकराचार्य देव एंड ही सेज यू आर लिविंग यू आर सफरिंग हाउ कैन यू से यू आर मिथ्या व्हाट अबाउट माय वूम व्हाट अबाउट माय रिलेशनशिप प्रॉब्लम even if you go into samadhi you have enjoyed beautiful bliss but when you come out of samadhi your bank loan is still pending it is not getting resolved your house problem your relationship problem your let's say the ashrama has to be built that is not solved then what is the answer there and like this the journey takes on it is as per vedanta it is our ignorance which is taking us across as the principal cause for our suffering our ignorance of not knowing who we are so it goes on to say in our in our meditation you will see that we are doing this vedantic meditation that body is changing body is aging body will die but our awareness is continuously being aware that i am not this body i am not this mind and this is the journey for us so what happens when you do that how will the suffering go away after all the body is still suffering two answer one is you see paramamsha ramakrishna he got cancer paramamsha yogananda he was trying to i i saw that hole there was a hole in which in LA Mount Washington he was trying to remove a big stone and it was very heavy stone that hole is still there they haven't filled it up and he was stand that stone is also there he stand and it fell and it fell on his leg and his leg broke and he was naturally bedridden for quite some time and he said why does he have to paramam shri yogananda he built one temple beautiful site you know this is in uh, in sinita near uh, grand canyon wonderful ocean beautiful site beautiful garden he built a beautiful white temple the temple that soil gave away and the temple fell into the ocean just imagine paramam shri yogananda so he say i ask god the mother you know how much effort we took to make it why did you make it fall <laughs> and paramam shri yogananda gone ahead and rebuilt that and that rebuilding i happened to visit it is really very nice it's a beautiful place for meditation there's nothing in that it's a simple white bubble with a like a temple like structure right on the edge same place he's made it again and now that is standing all you do is sit down there on the floor itself if you got an asana and you can meditate right in front of the huge ocean beautiful sight so point is whether somebody suffering from cancer or suffering from this kind of losses and yet they are enlightened master so what is the here is the ignorance of the knowledge they know that this is not really me i am playing that role yes i have to do through that role so yours and my journey to cause it i find it very simple is two things one is we should know we should be aware Look, whatever the body is suffering, whatever the mind, if you continue to do the right way, suffering reduces. It doesn't, or it will go away. Divine grace is always waiting. You remember that uh, Paramahansa Ramakrishna used to say this. He said, "You are rowing and sweating, Bengal heat. The guy is sweating away to glory." river ganga he is rowing and it's very strenuous work he said all you have to do is raise the sail 
if you raise the same now the grace of the divine mother of god is like the wind it will now take the bow all you have to do hold the rudder and guide it now your life becomes like that this is one answer the grace of divine mother grace of god i am asking in that what happened the divine mother is another and you are another meaning god is separate from you baba ji is there mother is there and we are here we are small sentient being we are suffering we can be old we will grow old and we will body will die and along with that we think i am also dying the other answer i find it very powerful is you do through the righteous way of leading life gain that power of the consciousness which is created the universe and with which slightest of your thought of which with which we started to this session all you have to do is just make that thought make that wish work with it not for selfish thing for welfare of everyone including your own or your family or some poor people or maybe the neighbor or somebody sitting in us sitting from india you can send that energy and heal them and i'm seeing today the more knowledgeable you become the more understanding you have with that more connected you get and it is like you have the power to sign the reserve bank of india check you can sign any amount meaning suddenly you realize that somebody is waiting with the hands and say tathastu kya chahiye mang le is like aladdin bundle far far more powerful than water that that comes in with the awareness chant with be silent clay or loudly as you wish purna mada purna medam purna purna mudachate purna purna madaya ऑब्स्टिकल्स and take you from this state of multiple division divide self to oneness no separateness to oneness of realization to krishna yoga kshema vaham vaham divine mother jagat janani brahma rupi mother brahma vishnu mahishwara blessings of paramahamsa yogananda protect us guide us hold our hand swish yukteshwar giri lahri mahasai bless us so that we may attain that oneness with you as the supreme turiya conscious state that you gurus are there always guiding us silently ever present swami shri vivekananda holy mother sharada paramamsha ramakrishna Om Shanti 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 Chair